Hi everyone, so this is a little bit of a different video than I usually make because I'm not singing. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial but just want to clear the air and say that I'm not a beauty guru or whatever. I'm just making this video because a bunch of people ask me for like what I do every day and I don't know, I just wanted to help them out or something. Um, and yeah. I don't know, I don't wear a lot of makeup, just really basic stuff on an everyday basis or just whenever I feel like wearing a bit of makeup and yeah, this is my bare face and usually I just wear, first what I do is I um, wash my face with just my normal skincare routine and then I use these moisturizers, this is like the lotion and then this is the moisturizer, I don't know if you can see gonna focus well anyways these two um, and they kind of make my face a bit dewy so I like that um, and then what I usually do after that is I put on sunscreen and then on top I use the this Mario <laughs> it's um this spray for like dry skin and I have really dry and sensitive skin so um, I use this and I as you can see run out so I'm actually going to Hawaii on Sunday and I'm planning to stock up on a bunch of these because they're super expensive in Japan I don't like to wear a lot of makeup because it clogs up your pores and brings out pimples and also I just don't like the feeling of like a cakey face so I try to keep it really light and simple and also, I just am not that great at makeup, so I stick to what I know. I'm gonna first start off with concealer. Um, I don't, I don't even think you guys really care about the brands or whatever. I'll link it in the description below if you really want to know what I use. But I just kind of use whatever I have. So I'm gonna take some concealer. Maybe I should zoom up a bit better. Okay, and then go okay, under my dark circles, and then under my nose. And just anywhere where I see blemishes, but I think my skin's pretty decent right now. So just dark circles and redness on the corners of my nose. And then I have this beauty blender. And <laughs> yeah, just dab it in. Just so I brighten up the areas. Yeah, I have a lot of red tone in my face and my skin, so... Um, it's just better to brighten those up. Next, I'm going to take this foundation. It was a gift, so. And it's really good. Like, as you can see, I use it a lot, so. Um, just put a little bit on my redness. Because I have a lot of red tones in my skin. As I literally just said. Yeah. So just really lightly, as you can see. And then that's pretty much foundation done. You can get your neck as well, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to do eyebrows, which is my favorite part because I prioritize eyebrows. Like, no other. Oh my goodness, I can't find my eyebrow. <laughs> Found it. This is from... I don't know if you can see it, but I posted like a story. Um... Oh my god, it's not focusing. Can you focus please? Okay, whatever, I'll just link it in the description. But I got a bunch of um, questions asking where I got this eyebrow pencil from. And it's a Korean makeup brand. But it's like super cheap makeup, so. But anyways, I really like this, and yeah. What you wanna do is, maybe it's better to zoom up here too. Okay. Um, just start on the lower, just, I don't know, like I don't, draw on my eyebrows I just kind of fill in my original shape and it looks more natural in my opinion just gonna start from the bottom but go light at the front my sister taught me this because she always told me that my eyebrows look too intense since I just kind of keep them all one shade so start off light at the front and then go darker down here and yeah and that's pretty much it camera's not really focused that well. Is that better? 
I don't know. But as you can see, um, it's still in my um, eyebrow lines. Like I'm not going over whatever I drain outside of the lines. And yeah, just brush up and match your like the way that your hair is growing. And well, I've got one eyebrow done, and then I'm gonna do the other one. So it's just the same thing. Okay, eyebrows done. And now we're gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna take a builder and just call it an eyelash curler or pumper. <laughs> and then just pump my lashes. And there we go. And it immediately makes me look more alive. So lashes are really important for me too. Or else I just look always tired. I just always look tired unless my lashes are done. Take mascara. I personally don't actually really like this, but I bought it and I have to use it or else it's a waste. Okay. I think the camera, it's like really not in focus. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and my friends always make fun of me because I make that face. Every time I do my lower lash, I'm like... But it helps, so... Stop judging me. Yeah, nah. Wait, he's judging me. And voila. Lashes are done. I look more alive. It's a good life. But my friends usually... Okay, a lot of people don't like to do this because it does rip out a couple of your lashes. But after putting on mascara, I like to pump it one more time just so it like bends it and gives it more of a volume. More volume. Yep. Yeah. And then gently release or else it will rip off your lashes. See that difference though? Looks like I'm wearing um some type of eyelash extensions or like falsies. Oh, nah. I used this medicated lip balm though because I had a lip situation um, like a week ago and if you saw my story then you know what I'm talking about. Like my lips like blew up, they were so red and swollen so I use this medicated lip um, balm but it also works really well as like a gloss as you can see, right? Kind of cute, right? And then the rest, I don't know if this is like ethical, <laughs> I don't know if this is ethical or not but um, I use the like excess Wow, this camera is just really not working. Um, to fix up the tips of my brows to like stand them up and make them a bit messy. Pretty much, that's it. That is my makeup look. Actually, I have this very essential uh, thing that I always do at the end of my makeup, but I've kind of run out. Um, it's usually just a bit of highlight at the tip of my nose and eyebrow bones but I ran out and Japan doesn't really have good highlighters so I've kind of come to realize or I just haven't discovered the right one so next time I go to Hawaii I mean sorry Australia or maybe in Hawaii I'm gonna get some new highlighter and then you just like pop that on here and here and here and voila you're a glowing angel it takes like five minutes yeah and you look more put together yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Um, hope this helped. If you want like a proper brow tutorial, then I can also whip that together for you if you want. I don't know. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a wonderful, spectacular day. I guess. Bye.